Which <laughs> this is <laughs> Yes. Oh. They're related, can you tell? Two point two point two. It's season two. We haven't done two and a half two point two <laughs> season. <laughs> this is keeping it Catholic two point episode two. Hey, hey y'all! Welcome back to Keeping It Catholic. 2.0. So, on today's clip, um, we had some technical difficulties uh, earlier this week. So, we have to come back and redo our intro. But, that's fine. Because now we can do the intro from here. And you guys get to see a little bit of what we did on Sunday. Uh, so, Sunday we went to go hang out with... Father Adam at Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish Shrine here in the diocese in the city of London Wald. Why did we go to Guadalupe and spend time with Father Adam? Because we're celebrating Hispanic. <laughs> because we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. And <laughs> we wanted to go to a parish, um, obviously, that we're not familiar with. And we wanted to get out of our comfort zone and go somewhere different. And showcase a different parish for you guys and you know get to know them and get to know father adam in a different way we get to talk a little bit about what the food what food he likes what the food what food he likes uh what he enjoys about the spanish um culture and um kind of like his role at the parish anthony's with us because he, anthony was on the ride with us he, we wanted his perspective on what it was like to be a young puerto rican male um that practices the catholic faith and what was his Marian devotion about? He spoke a little bit about Fatima and how he's devoted to her. Um, and kind of how it's um, a really, truly a part of the Hispanic culture to be Marian. Uh, Hispanic Heritage <laughs> Month runs from September 16th to October 16th. So that's why we wanted to go to Guadalupe. We went to Guadalupe, to Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish Shrine, because she's the mother of the Americas. Mm -hmm. And in all of Latin America, and in the Caribbean, any Spanish-speaking country, there's people with devotion to Our Lady of Guadalupe. So, um, so before we cut it here, Anthony, if you could just give us a quick reason why you are so devoted to Our Lady of Fatima. So if I can remember the question in the car, uh -huh. Jose said, what is it like being Marian in Hispanic Heritage yes. Month? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think I remember saying that it was different because for Puerto Ricans, we have La Virgen de Providencia. Our Lady of Providence. Mm -hmm. Which is supposed to be the Mary of Puerto Rico. But it was different because I just learned about the Lady, Our Lady of Providence. And in Puerto Rico, they um, focus more on La, uh, La Virgen de Guadalupe more. And I was saying, just trying to explaining that my family kind of just follows La Lady of the, the Our Lady of Guadalupe more than the Providence. Um, but my favorite, the one that I always think about is um, Our Lady of Fatima, mm -hmm. because we can definitely relate to that today. Um, you know, the whole story of Fatima um, with Sister Lucia and just basically um, everything that was going on in Portugal at the time. Um, with war and the persecution of the church and just Mary saying um, if you don't start praying to me now there will be more bloodshed and I think with that uh, those word that words that she gave us um, we can relate to that in today's society mm -hmm. and that's why I um, look at Fatima um, with a different eye than all the other ones even awesome. though I have awesome. a different um, even though I love them all the same, it's all equally the same, yeah. but that's the one that I... More of a connection with mm -hmm. her. Correct. Cool. Which is awesome. awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. So, in the next clip, you're going to see us driving around, going to Lindenwald. You may see um, some clips of the parish, and you're going to see the shrine, and that's talking to Father. So, with enjoy that being it. said, enjoy. <laughs>
All right, so we made it. Uh, you guys saw a bit of the road trip, and it got a little confusing at the end. I wasn't allowed to make a left turn, um, but that's New Jersey for you. But we had to go around the block a couple times, but I finally pulled in. And we're here now at the Parish Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe. We got a nice um, tour. Which is yeah, we did. And with Father Adam. Yeah. Uh, he let us in. Yes, he Man did. has the keys to the place. <laughs> so he let us in, and he showed us around. And we absolutely, I mean, the minute we walked in, we fell in love. So. Yeah. Beautiful, um, beautiful here. Father Adam, thanks for having us. Thanks for, thanks for us wanting to be on and, and participate. Definitely. So you guys are welcome anytime, mm. uh, especially on our feast day of Guadalupe. So you have to come back and see us again. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right now the church is empty as we're just finishing our masses for uh, Sunday morning. Um, but it's great to have you guys here. So we're happy that you made the, the journey down. So I know it's a long travel from Vineland <laughs> to Lindenwald. So. It wasn't that bad. It was like, what, 45 minutes? Yeah, about 45 minutes. Yeah, but it, it was definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. So, Father, um, uh, we've been kind of texting back and forth. But the purpose is we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage, yes, right? Yes, this month is Hispanic Heritage Month. So we wanted to um, visit a Hispanic community mm -hmm. other than what we you know our home parish we wanted to step out and go somewhere different in the diocese so that way we could share that with everyone so mm -hmm. yeah so we decided we want to come here That's on the car ride right here we talked about how uh, most of the Spanish speaking countries um, whether they be from um, the Americas or from the Caribbean or any but there's devotion to Our Lady of Guadalupe mm -hmm. across the Spanish speaking mm -hmm. world uh, and you were telling us in the sacristy about the different communities that are represented here. Um, and we know you speak Spanish, so we know you're Hispanic by association. <laughs> um, so what's that What's that like for you? What's it like being El Guerito, but like being immersed? Mm -hmm. And what and about the culture? Sure, yeah. Like, Oh, it it's really is wonderful. So it's uh, definitely different than what I experienced growing up and uh, just a complete different culture to... Uh, very welcoming mm -hmm. so it's one that's uh, very vibrant and one that's very joyful um, and one that's very active uh, so it was a great um, a great uh, ministry to be a part of and just uh, you know great community to to really share with and uh, as you were saying there's so many different uh, cultures that come here mm -hmm. um, you know, the big ones are Mexico, Honduras, and El Salvador. Mm -hmm. um, so I got to know what a pupusa was and <laughs> how delicious they are, how important they are. Um, but I also eat baleadas now, along with uh, tacos and uh, tortas. Um, oh, he's making so me hungry. You get, the best yeah. of, you get the best of all three worlds. And uh, yeah. uh, we have a, one of our parishioners from Colombia, and he brings, uh, I always mispronounce it, buenuelos. Buen Bin Binuelos. 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 Yep. Binuelos. Oh, man, they're delicious when you're having a cup of coffee yes. and... Uh, so they're just, uh, you know, now, a great community. Yeah. So now Andres, I'm sure Andres is going to catch this. Mm -hmm. And now he knows that he can come to Guadalupe for Binuelos and coffee <laughs> <laughs> with Father Adam. <laughs> always invited. So he's always so, welcome. So, Father, what made you want to learn Spanish? I mean, I mean, I don't know if it's a requirement. Besides being voluntold. Right. No, <laughs> no, no. No, not. It was, a com the you know, complete opposite. It was uh, really before I entered the seminary, mm -hmm. um, I had been working at a, a shop right in Bridgeton, and I was working on the night shift. So I would go to um, the parish of the Holy Cross on Sunday mornings. After I get done work, I'd go there. And uh, they had a, a special mass. Uh, Father Ariel was the pastor at the time. And it was going to be a bilingual mass. Um, for Our Lady of Schoenstatt, and I really didn't know too much about it, mm. um, but they were talking about it a lot and a lot, so I said, you know, I'm going to go check it out, so I went, and uh, it was ever my, my first bilingual mass, and, you know, I worked in Vineland at a, a shop right as well, and uh, I got to meet and work with a lot of people that, you know, it, it always amazed me when they would speak Spanish and then English in the same sentence, like mm. they could be able English. to turn it, or they would, like, you know, talk to one person in Spanish, and then, Flip you know, yeah, and it was just like, you know, you, you never think it's possible, but it's just amazing to see. And uh, so I'm at this uh, bilingual mass, and really it was my first ever Spanish mass. And just to hear, you know, as they come in, uh, Francisco and I, our, our sacristy, we were singing the uh, uh, Madre Mia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that was like the first, you know, everybody's clapping. It was like completely like, this kind of blew me away. Um, the church was packed with people, you know, of, you know, both the... Uh, English speaking and mm -hmm. uh, you know they have a big Mexican community so it was full of people and it was just an amazing experience and uh, it really is a, a beautiful language so you know to, to hear it and to see that faith that was so alive 
you know, I remember I just kind of planted that seed on, you know what, this is going to be an important part of, of my journey. Yeah. So as I entered the seminary, um, it was with that kind of, you know, desire to, to learn that language. And my first roommate was from Colombia. So, you know, I got to, you know, know wow. the Colombian culture. Um, and then as I went on in my studies, uh, I had the chance to go to Mexico for a summer. That's awesome. um, so I was in uh, Cuernavaca for about eight weeks um, mm -hmm. learning uh, Spanish and then I came back and um, was able to put it into practice during my pastoral year down in Galloway awesome. and uh, again you just see the different communities mm -hmm. that were there mm -hmm. um, and then finally when I was getting ordained the bishop asked uh, if I wanted to go to Texas and then to Mexico to learn some more and to really work on it um, so I was you know open to it um, because it would just open up a lot of opportunities in the yeah. future just being able to work with different people and different communities um, but also you learn a lot, you know, about their journeys and about their mm -hmm. struggles. Um, and uh, so after um, six weeks in Texas of going to school, going to class, I uh, went to uh, Aguas Calientes oh, con las hermanas. Nice. Uh, so I was at the mother house of the missionary daughters of the purest Virgin Mary, wow. um, which was just an amazing experience to meet all these sisters and to be uh, there at their, their mother house where their novices were. Mm -hmm. So all the young sisters were there, um, but just got to really enjoy it and I was blessed to be there um, just this past uh, week we celebrated the Independence Day for, yeah. for Mexico yes. mm -hmm. yep. so I was able to be there for uh, El Grito for the nice. uh, you know Padre Hidalgo's uh, speech um, but it was just uh, you know again it was completely different coming from a European background um, to go into uh, uh, Central America mm -hmm. Latin America and just be able to experience a whole different way of life you yeah. know in a lot of ways so uh, just kind of you know planted more seeds and uh, helped the Spanish a lot. So mm -hmm. I still have a long ways to go in learning. And, uh, you know, every once in a while, I do have a good day of, of being able to make sense and make a lot of <laughs> sense. <laughs> but some days, not so much. But the people are very patient and they're uh, very understanding. Um, but they're just happy that we're mm -hmm. trying and that yeah. we're sharing the, uh, the experience with them. So it, it really has been a blessing where, and they're, they're quick to help you as well, you mm -hmm. know, so you mm -hmm. get a lot of support. Um, when you're reaching for words or trying to say something, they'll they understand. So it's a, awesome. a very forgiving community. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could attest to Father Adams like tr like trying. Yeah. Like he puts himself out there. I he remember does. when we 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 scheduled like the the lectionary training with the new the new Roman Missal. Mm -hmm. Not lectionary training. We scheduled the new. I said lectionary and then Roman <laughs> Missal in the same sentence. <laughs> edit it uh it was the roman missile training the roman missile in spanish got redone oh, yeah. so that it would be more like the one that's in english mm. they kind of now they're like twins yeah. yeah um and i remember walking in and seeing all these spanish with the, i'm with the office of hispanic ministry and i walk in and I see father adam and i'm like oh he got his dates mixed up <laughs> and i walk over i'm like father this one's in spanish and he's like yeah i know and i was like <laughs> <laughs> all right welcome okay. let's get them a copy let's do this um but it's also awesome. like you said like the people are forgiving and mm -hmm. opening uh, and open and helping and uh and i think that's just the hispanic culture and welcoming, i think that's loving, yeah like big family so that's awesome i'm so glad i'm so thankful for the work that you do mm -hmm. um for taking the initiative to want to immerse yourself in the hispanic culture and be mm -hmm. part of the community and 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 be you know be a shepherd to the to the spanish community who needs that love needs that type of attention yeah, so it, you're so awesome for that um any other questions for father before we um head out it was to ask about like your favorite what's your favorite food Ooh, spanish, be careful you don't want to upset food. none of the donas what's in the your parish favorite dish? Like, hands oh. down it has to be like mm, my go-to because we, uh, we've been eating uh, a lot of uh, Puerto Rican food too now, okay. so it's uh, you know getting a big mix. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me think about this nice and hard here. So if I had to pick one food that I, I really enjoy, it'd have to be chicken fingers. So. What? <laughs> <laughs> chicken fingers? I figured that's the most American thing I could say. <laughs> he just didn't want to upset right. all the lovely <laughs> Hispanic <laughs> old ladies that cook for him on a regular basis. Chicken fingers. <laughs> chicken they fingers. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. No, no, but, uh, Good answer. you know, I could eat anything. So. That's awesome. So send all the food you want yeah, to there you uh, go. Lady of Guadalupe. <laughs> Any food you want to send here. Attention here. to Father Adam because if not, the big brothers will take it <laughs> and eat it. 
Uh, so no, well, again. Yeah, thank you so much for having us here and showing us around. And yeah, definitely. It's beautiful, so it's beautiful. It's good to have you here, and just that uh, you know we're we're always so proud of our churches, and uh, mm -hmm. we're, we're lucky to really have beautiful ones here in the parish. And, Ones that you know show a, a great love and devotion, especially to our blessed yeah. mother who mm -hmm. watches Absolutely. over us. So yeah. it's a, a great, a great joy and uh, just an honor. Great. So maybe we can finish. Maybe you can lead us in a prayer to Our Lady, and um, then we'll head up with that. Yeah. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Blessed Mother, we come before you looking for your intercession, asking for your help as the patroness of America. We pray for our country and we pray for. Our our continent. Lord, help to always unite us and keep us close to your Son. And we pray to God through Mary as we say, Hail Mary, Hail Mary. Full, full of grace, grace. The, the Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed art thou amongst women, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much, Father. So here you have it, guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye.